today's video, we're going to be exploring the Puma Ignite Evo Knit. Surprisingly, as much as I talk about Adidas, my first favorite sneaker brand was actually Puma. The first shoe that I've gotten from them was Puma Suede, and the second one was Puma Clyde. And I used these to break dance a lot. When I was younger, all the people around me who break dance with me only wore Puma and Adidas. And those two brands really spoke out to me in during hip hop culture. It was really awesome to rock them and they're really comfortable to dance in. I actually haven't really talked about Puma and haven't revisited this brand. So for me to talk about the brand today is actually giving me a lot of nostalgia. And if you're looking for an alternative to Boost, this right here is your answer because it is surprisingly much better than it looks. Here we go. As mentioned in the name, Puma put Evo Knit onto the entire upper of this shoe. You can tell it's all the way from the sock to the toe box. Around the ankle collar of the shoe, you can see that there are two nylon pull tabs. The laces used on the shoe are black oval laces, and on both sides of the shoe, you can see there's a nylon black belt strap that is comprised in the V shape. On the rear heel side of the shoe, you can see there's a triangular plastic cap with the Puma logo on it that seems to be made out of TPU. Between the Evo Knit upper and Ignite midsole, you can see that there is a black vinyl water resistant lining that covers the entire bottom of the Evo Knit upper. The insole of the shoe is made out of foam and on the heel side, it's thickly padded. This shoe comes with full length Ignite midsole cushioning. And for the outsole, it's made out of this really grippy Evertrack rubber. The overall look of the shoe is very minimalistic and it leans towards the techwear style. A lot of shoes nowadays have this high top sock like upper and if you're into that trend, this shoe does not disappoint. I think what's really unique with this design is the nylon belt strap that pulls the heel cage towards the heel side when the laces are tightened. The only thing that's really bothersome about the shoe is the really loud Puma text. Other than that, the rest of the shoe is very nicely designed and very sleek. The color of the upper is really good, but the extraneous dots I think is not necessary. But if you're not bothered by it, it's still a really good shoe. The also has this typical running shoe pattern. So to explain it to you simply, comparing it directly to Boost, this Ignite midsole is way more responsive than Boost. I don't think I was ready to say that or believe it, but it is. However, Boost is softer than Ignite. The whole your feet is sinking into a cloud when you walk on Boost is still true to Boost only, but walking on Ignite is like walking on a springboard that is truly giving you energy return. When I push my thumb up from the outsole, you can see that the midsole bends in quite easily. The design of the arrows looks like it has a lot to do with the rebound. You can see how it collapses but comes back as you walk heel to toe. Just look at how beautiful this heel to toe transition roll is. It's effortless. Maybe I was missing this feeling from not trying other shoes, but this shoe is just like how the New Balance 574 is. There's really good padding on the heel area, but this shoe gives you really good padding under the front toe ball of your feet, making your entire foot happy. The outsole is super grippy and just as flexible as the midsole, allowing the shoe not to crease whatsoever just like the boost material. The Evo Knit Upper, however, cannot beat what Prime Knit offers. Adidas Prime Knit Upper conforms to your feet, but the Evo Knit Upper can only conform to your ankle and the heel area. Very strange combo, but those are the only two places to have elasticity conforming to your foot. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the bottom line is, Boost is softer, like you're walking on clouds, and the energy return is there as well, but not enough support. On the Puma Ignite Midsole, however, it is not like walking on clouds, but it is more supportive and more responsive like a springboard than Boost, making you use less energy when taking your next stride. I hope you guys enjoyed my in-depth look at the Puma Ignite Evo Knit. This shoe is so much comfier and so much more responsive than I initially thought it was, and it's definitely worth looking at even though it came out a year ago. And because it came out a year ago, I'm so worried that Puma's gonna kill it. Please don't kill it. Anyways, this has been Billy Visuals. You guys just got visualized, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.